Welcome back to Team G503. In this video, we're going to be installing the ammeter gauge, part number A8186. And the one I have here is a reproduction. If you look on the back here, I've got these marked positive and negative. Now, I derived a little method to test which side was which because these some of these reproductions do not come marked and they are not the same post side as they would have been in the original. So to test this, I just got myself a couple pieces of 16 gauge wire, uh, red and a black, and I'm going to hook the red one here. Now, I already know because I already tested this and I already know which side is which, but I want to show Show you how I derive this. So I'm hooking up the red, which I'm going to call my positive, to the negative side, and then I'm going to hook a black wire up to the positive side, and then I'm going to touch it to the battery. Now remember now for the first test here, I hooked these up backwards on purpose because I want to show you what happens when you have your circuit incorrectly wired on your ammeter. So we'll hook it up here to the positive. You see that needle goes to the negative. That's because I've got the wires reversed. Sometimes when people install their ammeters into the Jeep, they have them switch backwards. And the solution is just to switch the wires, but you will get an incorrect or negative reading like that, and you just have to switch them back. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll change the wires back to what they were supposed to be. Now the red is the positive and the black is the negative, and we'll do the test again, and then I'll show you what happens when you have it wired correctly. So I've got the red to the positive and the black to the negative, and I didn't realize when I was shooting this that I had moved out of the camera, but so you're just going to have to trust me when I tell you that when you've got it wired correctly and touch it to the battery, it will it, the needle will go to the positive side. A little bit embarrassed. So I just took a magic marker and I marked on the back there what was positive, what was negative, and if you follow the Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts guide there or the diagram in the catalog, you will see there's a positive and negative side that other wires have to be connected to. I've got the original ammeter here, and notice how it says amperes there on the gauge, and on the back here there was a piece of cardboard that did actually designate what the positive and negative side were, unlike the new modern reproduction ones are. Now, don't get me wrong, the new modern reproduction ones are absolutely fine. This one is in my hand here is very high quality, and I've got great faith in it working. Okay, let's go ahead and install it onto the dash. If you take a look at your ammeter here, you'll flip the underneath side here, and you'll see a little dimple or an indent, I guess I call it, and it fits in that little slot that's cut in the bottom there of the top uh, hole slot there on the dashboard on the passenger side. And this is the bracket. If you notice, there's little sleeves or the insert. Now that bracket's going to be installed over the top of those nuts on the bottom, so we're just going to remove those top two. We'll go ahead and install it into the dash and make sure that little dimple gets into that groove that's in that hole. I'm going to go ahead and reach under the dashboard here with my right arm, and I'm going to put the bracket on. Now, the legs of the bracket are facing towards the dashboard or towards you. I will show you a picture at the end of the video what this looks like, but I want to install also the breaker or circuit breakers onto that bracket that you see there in the hole where the light's coming out of it, the speedometer goes. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and hand tighten these, and I'll tighten them up when I get underneath and lay down here on the floor to tighten up the circuit breakers. On the ammeter, there's a total of three nuts per each stud that comes there, and there's also a lock washer. As we continue the series here with the wiring, you will get to see where every one of those goes and how those fasteners are. For this video, I just wanted to install the ammeter so it's all good to go. And let's move on to the circuit breakers that need to be installed. Directly through the hole for the speedometer, you'll see a bracket that's attached to the, both the firewall and the dashboard. And those little ears that stick up on each side have two holes drilled in them. On each one of those, we're going to have to install a circuit breaker that our horn and our fuel gauge goes through in the wiring circuit. Here's the new circuit breakers, and these are available at Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts. I have a 10 amp and a 20 amp circuit breaker for my application. Uh, this lower amperage is for the fuel gauge circuit, and the higher amperage one is going to be for the horn circuit. If you look closely, you can see the little elements that are inside. These are lighter for the fuel, and then the heavier ones are going to be for the horn. And we'll talk about what circuit breakers do in just a little bit here. The circuit breakers are attached with these two little screws, lock washers and nuts I'm showing you here. So we'll just go ahead and they come on the circuit breaker. We'll go ahead and remove the nut and the lock washer. And if you're like me, these little screws and nuts do not do well with my unnimble fingers. So you see how small they are here. The one I'm working on is for the fuel gauge circuit, so that's going to be the lighter one, or the 10 amp one, and I'm going to install that on the ear or the tongue there that you see it sticks up there from the bracket that's near the steering column or the driver's side. The wire that comes from the fuel gauge is short, so you have to make sure that it's placed on that side. So we'll go ahead here and we'll install the two screws through the holes, and the holes are set at a slant or a 45 degree angle. So once you get those in there, you kinda gotta use your fingers to hold the screws inside the circuit breaker. And then here's my favorite little lock washer that I've gotta slip on here. So you slip the lock washer on, and then you can install the nut. While I'm doing this, I wanna explain a little bit about how these circuit breakers actually work, or fuses in, in, in all sorts. 
excessive current that sometimes happens through an electro electrical system, whether it be your charging system or as things get older, that it can heat up the element in that fuse or circuit breaker and it'll pop the element that causes it to break and stops the heat from destroying either the device or more importantly so, heating up the wires, melting the insulation and causing a fire. So essentially the circuit breaker is to pop or fail and stop the current from flowing through that circuit. Okay, I've got the other lock washer and nut all set to go here on the top screw, and then we'll go ahead and back with a flathead screwdriver and a small wrench and we'll tighten both of those up. Now I'll move to the opposite side and that's going to be my 20 amp breaker that's going to be for the horn circuit and we'll install that the same way. I suppose it wouldn't matter either way you put these, but I'm facing those connectors upwards as I showed you there or towards the top and I'll show you a picture of that towards the end of the video also. So we're going to go ahead and install this one on the passenger side, the same way we did the driver side. It sure is nice to be able to reach in that hole there where the opening for the speedometer would be. While I'm doing this, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers here at the Team G503 video series. Thank you for your support and thank you for the support of Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts and Joe's Motor Pool. All the parts you see me install in the Team G503 videos are available at www.rfjp.com. Lastly, I'll show you here how I tighten these down. Just use a small box end open end wrench and we reach through this awesome opening that we've been using over and over again here with the speedometer because it's so easy to access this and of course the magnetic screwdriver makes it easy also. So I'm going to go ahead now and tighten everything down and we've got some very important components that need to be installed for us to continue our wiring series and I'll go underneath the dash now and show you how the ammeter looks with the bracket. You can see I've got the nuts and then I've also got the star washer and the nut to connect the wires to and I'll be showing you that in the next video and then also I'll show you the circuit breaker here on the side how I've got those connectors facing upwards on both sides. Until next time, my friends, keep it safe and happy jeeping.